not afraid of red, yellow, and blue, is an isometric cube whose sides are assigned primary colors based on their natural tones. Yellow for the light top, blue for the dark right side, and red for the medium left side. Beneath the primary colors are their corresponding complementary colors, purple, orange, and green respectively. Each side is split into two subtle shifts in tone, which gives the cube its ambiguity between being solid and translucent. And the overall horizontal bands of rendering create a precarious balance between the three-dimensionality of the representation of the cube and the two-dimensionality of the surface to which it is bound. In confrontation with the works of de Stille, in particular Piet Mondrian, whose paintings turned the combination of the primary colors into a didactic idea instead of a means of expression, Barnett Newman titled his series of four large canvases in primary colors, Who's Afraid of Red, Yellow, and Blue? It is evident that Newman was asserting that he was not afraid by the absence of a question mark at the end of his title. But I assumed it a question anyway so that my painting, Not Afraid of Red, Yellow, and Blue, would emphatically answer, Not me.